Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to the last video for 2020. Obviously we're pretty much at the end of the year now so I figured I'd take the rest of it off. Uh, if you watched one of my latest videos you'll know that I'm just recovering from COVID. Things gone well, uh, luckily I didn't get too sick. Apparently the strain that was going around wasn't super bad, at least for my area, so pretty good. So yeah, I figured I'd just do this last little quick update video give you an idea of what's to come in 2021, and also, I guess, give you a little bit of value and tell you whether or not it's time to upgrade to DaVinci Resolve 17. If you've been sitting there looking at the beta, wondering whether or not you wanna upgrade and start using the newest and latest version of DaVinci Resolve, well, yeah, we're gonna talk about it real quick. So we'll get that one over and done with, I guess, because the majority of you are probably gonna wanna know that. Should you upgrade to DaVinci Resolve 17? Obviously, we are currently running on beta software. I think we're up to like beta six or seven at the moment. And honestly, like I've run DaVinci Resolve betas every single year whenever they release a new software. And generally, I don't even have that much stability issues with the very first beta that they drop, as most people will do. I never recommend people to download beta software if they make income using that particular bit of software it doesn't make any sense because there will be stability and compatibility issues. What I'm noticing now in wherever we're up to, like I said, beta six or seven, I haven't had any crashes, at least in the past week with my own personal stuff and as well with some of the YouTube videos and I also edit videos for other channels. So I haven't had any issues, any uh, unexpected, I guess, crashes. Fusion still crashes here and there, but Fusion always crashes here and there. So whatever. So I think now is the time, if you've been sitting there looking at the new features of Dimension Resolve 17, all the new title packs, all the transitions and the speed improvements and all that sort of stuff, and you've been wondering whether or not it's time to jump in, I think now is pretty safe. I think if you make money editing videos and you want to try the newest version of Dimension Resolve, yes, download it now. I don't think you're gonna have any issues. Obviously keep in mind it is a beta, it is beta software, but I haven't had any issues any huge issues so it also has live save so you're not really going to lose much of your project even if it does but yes i think it's stable enough now that you can use it for i guess main full-time work that if that's what you do now what's going on with the channel for 2021 i've been doing a lot of thinking over the past couple of weeks um being sick generally don't feel like making videos you know you're just sort of chilling and a lot of thinking going on and i've decided that I will still definitely do tutorials, but I wanna do, I guess, longer tutorials, things a bit more tailored. In one of my more recent videos, I have announced some sort of one-on-one -on -one coaching to sort of cover some of those bases that is available in the link down below. But I wanna start branching out and doing a bit more cinematic things because that's what I enjoy doing and that's what the channel is going to be going forward. So maybe not as constant uploads in terms of like trying to do two a week, but trying to have higher quality videos in general going forward into 2021. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'll still, of course, bring DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I guess, to fill in the blanks. Obviously, if I'm spending a lot of time on one video, maybe I'm doing something and I think, you know what, these guys would love to see what's going on behind the scenes. So I'll be putting out tutorials here and there as well, but also, I guess, more cinematic based content. Being in Canada, it's a beautiful country and I wanna start showing that off on this channel and just, I guess, playing around with things that I'm passionate about other than teaching you guys. So yeah, that's what's going on in 2021. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully you guys stick around for the journey. Subscribe if you want to stick around for the journey, I guess. And yeah, I guess happy holidays and I'll see you guys in the new year.